The Paper Dolls by Julia Donaldson, illustrated by Rebecca Cobb. This is a modern classic that lots of you may know well already. It's about making things at home, the special role of memories and the adventures that your imagination can take you on. Try some of these ideas to exercise your memory and get your imaginative and creative juices flowing. Talk about the story using these question ideas. Can you find the butterfly hair slide on each page? The girls in the story think of brilliant names for their paper dolls. Do you have any good names for your dolls or teddies or pets at home? How did you choose these names? What would you name these characters? Play a memory game. There are two different versions. Version 1. Choose some items to put in a memory box. Have a good look at them, then close your eyes and ask someone to take one away. Have another look. What's missing? You could use favourite toys for this game or even letters, numbers or words if you want to squeeze a bit of extra learning in. Version 2 is a classic tray game. Again, choose some items for your memory box. For this one, I chose all things beginning with the sound P, the letter P. Have a good look, then cover the box and see how many things you can remember. You could say them aloud or older children could write them down. Just like the children in the story, why not make some of your own paper dolls? You'll need a long strip of paper. Cutting a piece of A4 in half lengthways works well. Fold it four times to make four paper dolls. Then turn it so that the side that opens is on the right hand side and draw half a person, making sure you draw the arms right to the edge. Cut out and open it up. Draw this shape if you want to make a paper doll with a dress. Decorate your paper dolls by colouring them in and drawing on them and then think of some good names for them. In the story, a boy snips the paper dolls into tiny pieces, but they join back together like pieces of a puzzle. Make some puzzles of your own using posters or pages from an old magazine or packaging like a familiar cereal box. Cut it into a few pieces. For an extra challenge, you can cut more pieces and cut diagonal lines. Make sure you've got a photo on your phone of what the puzzle should look like in the end to help you put the pieces back together. Please share photos of your paper dolls with me by sending a photo on WhatsApp or tagging at Ivy Moon Club on Instagram. I'd love to see them and hear about the amazing names that you've come up with for each one as well. Bye!